Welcome to this video. In the previous video, we saw some interesting examples based on the sum of the first n terms of an arithmetic progression. In this video, we will see what are the common mistakes that can occur while solving these types of questions. The fifth term of an arithmetic progression is minus 9 and its fifteenth term is minus 49. Then what will be the sum of the first 21 terms of this arithmetic progression? Pause the video and solve the question and match your answer. The fifth and the fifteen terms of the arithmetic progression are given in the question and we have to find the sum of the first 21 terms of this arithmetic progression. Can you tell what we have to do? To find the sum, we need the first term a and the common difference d of the arithmetic progression. If we write the fifth term that is a5 and the fifteenth term that is a15 this way, then we get the questions 1 and 2. Subtracting equation 2 from equation 1 gives us d as minus 4. By substituting the value of d in equation 1, we get the value of a equal to 7. In this question, we have to find the sum of the first 21 terms of the arithmetic progression. In this case, n would be equal to 21. On substituting the values of a, d and n in the formula to find the sum of the first n terms of the arithmetic progression and solving, we get minus 693. Hence, option 1 is the correct answer. If you have selected option 2, then it is a good attempt but it is the wrong answer. Because your attempt was based on the wrong formula for the nth term of the arithmetic progression, you made the wrong equation from the 5th and 15th terms. And solving it further, you got the wrong value for the first term A. Proceeding in the same order, you solve the equation by substituting the incorrect value in the formula for the sum of the nth term because of which your answer was incorrect. If you have selected option 3, it is also a good attempt but it is the wrong answer. Let's see how. You found the correct values and selected this formula to find the sum. When substituting the value in this formula, instead of a n, you solve the equation with the value of a 15. You forgot that we have to find the sum of 21 terms of the arithmetic progression. So it is not a15 in place of an. Instead, we have to find the value of a21 because of which your answer was incorrect. So hopefully, you must have understood why the first option is correct and the rest are incorrect. Teachers can also test the knowledge of students in class with the help of such examples. 